Body of aspiring Florida hip-hop artist found in car trunk after crash. Sorry for his death. I'm sure he had loved ones. Why, oh why, are most black males from 15 to 25 an aspiring rapper slash hip-hop artist or wants to play for the NBA or NFL? Do they really think there's nothing else they can do? Yeah, boy, this is gonna be one of those angry videos, ain't it? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash I'm a total POS because everybody seems to really like those ones, so I'm pretty certain it's going to be a regular here. If you want to show your support and be absolutely amazing and see more videos like this one here today, check out the other videos in this playlist, like the video, comment down below, and if you have not already, hit that subscribe button and ring that Taco Bell notification. All right, let's go. Listen, my man is blank. I am the boss of the girls who worked at Home Socks. I'm also the head of the most dangerous gang in the entire United States and commander of the new generations that were previously the Z that resided in the United States. You've been speaking to one. You better answer. I have a murder warrant against you and your family for wasting my girl's time and offending my organization. Stop answering. Blocking me it won't solve anything. Anyway, my organization will go in your search if you don't pay the girl's time. Dude, wrong number. Wrong number. Chicago police say a woman stabbed a store employee 27 times times after being asked to wear a mask. The Chicago Police Department said a woman stabbed a store employee 27 times while another woman held him by the hair after they were asked to wear a face mask inside a store. The attack occurred around 6 p.m. on Sunday at an undisclosed store in the city's west side. Police spokeswoman Carrie James told the Chicago Sun-Times, Y'all yeah, be riding them bikes on the street like I'll be texting and driving. Night. Yes, because running somebody over with your car is perfectly the thing had to do. Sweetie, if you think your life is bad, just imagine how the ropes must feel. He roped you because no female would give him a chance. It was his only chance to get laid. Now he lives in fear that the police might find him. Someone's at the door, might be investigators. Someone's following him, might be investigators. He lives in constant fear, all because no female would ever give him a chance. I'm not saying rope isn't bad. It's a terrible thing. But it's terrible for both the rope and the ropist. That's what your normies must understand. You are a terrible human being. Yeah, and if your parents saw this, they would contemplate unnutting you. If How To Basic made a public show for all his fanboys in a stadium, we could just throw an A-bomb at the stadium and the number of dudes rope child, um, I don't even know what that word is, and other antisocial types would disappear from the face of the earth. What a wonderful world we would have if the only thing that add meaning to your life is to throw away meat you need to do some soul searching dude he has like 10 million subscribers the i figured that the only people that would dislike him are the cleaning services that he has to call after he does his videos smart investment if you ask me red bucket comes in handy during holiday season. Christmas is over, so I no longer need it. I turn this $100 investment into an almost unlimited amount of money during the holidays. Ah, yes, the getting money from others from the sole kindness that they think that they're getting their money put towards an actual cause. Nope, you're just fulfilling your own greedy desires. Look, the world already has enough of an issue with fake panhandlers. We don't need fake Salvation Army donators, too. Cyberpunk 2077 developers ask for basic human decency after death threats over a game delay. Eh, you know, it's not like there's actually anything really big or bad happening in the world right now. Nope, mm -mm, nope, definitely, definitely justified to rage at a gaming company because they have to delay a product. You know, I was actually having fun with some of the memes that were coming out from this, like said that we'll release 2077 when Luffy finds the One Piece. But you know, if people are going to actually have death threats, that's not going to push them to release it sooner. If anything, that might just cause them to delay it even more for their own staff's safety. So you know what? If you want it to be released, stop with the nonsense. Because you know, if I was the game developer, I would not release it if this was going to be the audience that greets me on the door out. PETA was given a healthy and adoptable animals who were later found dead by 
by PETA's hands, their bodies unceremoniously thrown away in a supermarket dumpster. It is a lie because according to the Daily Caller, two PETA employees described as adorable and perfect some of the dogs and cats they killed in the back of a PETA-owned van. Yeah, honestly, PETA in general needs to just disappear, and also should somebody tell Keanu Reeves that he's on their celebrity supporter list? Because I feel like if he knew actually that he was on there, he would speak up about it. It seems to have been placed by a PETA supporter targeting hunters. I am so grateful that I stepped on it and it didn't hurt either of the dogs who were with us. I called the Mills River Police and they are going to get back with me about it tomorrow. These trails are used by hikers, mountain bikers, and hunters. They are mostly used by hunters. I don't even know what to say. Be careful, I guess. My doctor is taking care of me. Thanks for the concern, y'all. The post on my page is shareable if you want to share this post. Yes, because if they are trying so hard already, why not do this? This definitely screams we are here to help. Whatever the dingbat that thought this was a good idea probably thinks that Chick-fil-A in general is a good idea too. Tough question. Oh joy, what Prometheus of wisdom doth thou subreddit has to bestow upon us today? Spare the lives of the sick and elderly who are on the way out in the first place, or, or open up spare the lives and livelihood of the smart, young, and able. Call me what you will, but I'll vote for the latter. I need to vent. So my husband deployed with his ship out of Norfolk, and I slept with one of his marine friends. I didn't know what to do. I just didn't want to be alone. I don't know what to do because I'm pregnant. His marine friend, the father of my child, says drag him through court for child support and ruin his career because he wasn't there 24-7 for me. Does the Navy force him to pay me? Should I marry the marine friend? He wants another kid right after this one and promises me unlimited BAH and benefits. I don't know if I should do what he says and ruin my husband's career and drag him through court and take all of our stuff and leave. He didn't abuse me or treat me bad. He just wasn't available 24-7 at my request. Any advice, ladies? Uh, thank you. Yeah, you know, it's not like he's doing anything much, like, you know, serving his country. But yeah, let's definitely try to ruin his career and make him pay child support for 18 years for a kid that's not even his. Some girl kicked us out of her party, so we stole her dog on the way out. Oh joy, can't wait to see how this one works out for ya. Okay, you know what? There has to be a way to report this ad, because honestly, I've even gotten this thing, and it's just really, really weird to get. So this is not okay in any way, shape, or form. It, there has to be some way to report an ad. Speaking of ads that I've actually gotten, why does this stuff even exist? Like, how bad do you have to be at a free game to actually try to look into how to hack into a game? Seriously, it's free to play, you can also play as much as you want, so there's always room to improve, and you don't need to resort to any type of hacking for this little game. Well, actually, free to play on mobile, but still. Don't resort to trying to get any of these hacks, all they will do is either steal your money or ruin your computer, okay? To all tenants, please understand if Joe Biden is elected as our next president, everything you do and have to pay for will change completely. Everything will be increased, like paying a lot more in taxes, utilities, gasoline, groceries, new permits, fees and regulations, everything. This also means your rent will be increased to cover these expenses. Most likely, rent would double in price. If the current president is re-elected, we will not raise the rent for at least two years. Voting is your choice, and we are not telling you how to vote. We are just informing our tenants what we will do according to the election results. If Trump wins, we all win. If Biden wins, we all lose. Vote on November 3rd, 2020. We are not telling you how to vote. Yeah, okay, then what is the point of this note again? There seriously needs to be some sort of rules and regulations and common decency rules for any landlords just so that stuff like this doesn't pop up. Because honestly, telling somebody something will happen if this doesn't happen is pretty much a threat, isn't it? Woman removed from easy jet plane for not wearing a mask. A woman was removed from an easy jet flight from Belfast to Edinburgh amid claims she refused to wear a mask and shouted, everyone dies at crew. Charlie D'Amelio and family accused of cheating during Mr. Beast's $300,000 trivia. Mr. Beast is a popular American stuntman, YouTuber, and philanthropist who has over 44 million subscribers on YouTube. In a recent $300,000 trivia tournament that he hosted, viewers accused the Di Emilio sisters of cheating. I have no idea who these are, and I don't really care enough to look them up, but they kind of look like the generic uh, cloudy family vlog. So I'd like to keep that lovely mindset of not knowing who they are intact.
But yeah, way to go trying to take money from one of the most generous people on YouTube. Definitely goes to show a lot for your family and your own character. And with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing and show your support and see more videos like this one here today, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on those notifications. And if you like to, be sure to check out the other videos in the playlist. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.